Hi, I'm Alicia on staff here. I lead worship in 252 Theater. Welcome to 252 Theater Online. Welcome to 252 Theater's online service, a ministry of New Spring Church in Wichita, Kansas. Fun lives here, so get ready to have a great time and learn about a great big idea. That's right. A big idea is something God wants to do inside you to change the world around you. The biggest ideas are the big three. We hope after joining us online, you'll know that you can treat others the way you want to be treated, make the wise choice, and trust God no matter what. You'll get to experience fun games, skits, worship, and of course, a powerful story straight out of God's Word. More than a video, this is your chance to be a part of something amazing. So get your popcorn, crank up the volume, and get ready for incredible fun. It all starts in three, two, one. Hello, welcome to Too Many Two Theater Online. I'm so glad that you joined us right now for this online video. We've got a great service for you today. We're talking about the big idea of cooperation. And today I'm really excited for the story that we're gonna get to in just a little bit. We're gonna talk about what our purpose is as a church. How cool is that? We're going to find out how God, what God created the church for. But right now, if you didn't know, uh, we've had a music theme this month, jam session. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love music. And something really cool has been happening here at New Springs uh, behind the scenes. So we're going to hear a song that was written by Sadie. Sadie's in fourth grade and she cooperated with Pastor Austin to make the music and to make the lyrics and all the words come together. But what I love about this is that a grown man needed a fourth grader's help to make a song and a fourth grader needed Austin's help to write this song. And it's so cool to see how they work together. So I would like you to check out this amazing song. I believe, I believe, I believe Whoa, I believe that you're talking to me. Tell me what I'm worth. Whoa, a beautiful masterpiece I wonderfully made. Every day is a day that you gave, and I will see you. So your here's praise. your part right here. Say, I believe, I believe, I believe what you say. Just like that. Say, I believe, I believe, I believe what you say. Good. Everybody say. clap your hands just like this. Say, what you say. I believe, I believe you were good in every single way. I believe you listen to me every time I call your name. God of the universe, you're worthy of all praise. You provide everything that I need, your love will never change. I believe, I believe, I believe what you say. Come on and sing. I believe, I believe, I believe what you say. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Well, I'm excited to get to talk about this message from God's Word, and I really believe it can change your life because it changed my life. And so uh, this is a really cool message. But before I get into that, um, when, I, when I was in school, I was kind of a history geek. Do I have any history fans watching right now? That was my favorite class was social studies, of getting to see what things were like before I was born, to see what things were like before I was alive. And one of my really favorite things to do was to see pictures from a long time ago and to see a picture taken from that same spot in the modern day you know like a long time ago there's just an empty field and there's nothing there and now in the modern day that same spot is just filled with huge buildings and you know it's completely filled and it's just amazing how much uh, we've taken over that area and so I love looking back at things like that and seeing how much things have changed but also how similar things are and so I have a picture I want to share with you uh, this is actually a picture of exactly where I'm standing but from 2006 so this was quite a few years ago, but check it out. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, that was when Kids World was first started 
was in 2006. And under the, the vision and the, the passion of, of Pastor Mark and Pastor Dan, Kids World was started so that kids could have fun learning about God. And obviously today, here in 2022, our stage looks a little bit different from that. It looks a lot different from that. It's an incredible space where we get to talk about God's Word together. And it's so cool to see uh, that the space is so different, but what we do is the same. We talk about God, we worship God together. Today, we're talking about how God started the church and what He started the church for. And you can read this for yourself in the book of Acts. Now, not Acts like a Acts that you swing and chop things with, acts like acts of kindness, things that you do. And the book of Acts tells us about how the early church was started, and it tells us what, what the first believers in Jesus did. And so uh, it's really incredible. We're going to be in Acts chapter 2, and uh, before we get to this point, what had happened is uh, Jesus had died on the cross, he had gone, he came back to life, and then he had went up to heaven. He just ascended into the sky, mind-blowing so cool and so uh, after that though is uh, God sent his Holy Spirit to be and to live within all of the believers it was really cool how it first started it actually was like fire above their head is what it was like and that's so cool and then uh, oh, Peter who was one of Jesus disciples he preached a message and at that message it was incredible more than 2,000 people decided to make Jesus their best friend and so the church was exploding there were people who were joining the movement of Jesus really, really rapidly. And we're going to find out what they did. And we're going to see just how similar it is to what our purpose is today when we come to church and when we're part of church. So uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 42, the first thing it says is the believers studied what the apostles taught. The first thing they did is they wanted to know God more. And the more that they learned about God by, by reading scripture, by hearing the, the things that Jesus taught about and hearing what Jesus did, uh, they were able to grow together. What I love is that even here in 2022 in Wichita, Kansas, we get to do that. We come here every week and we talk about what we can learn from God's word. That's one of the purposes of the church. Let's go on. Let's, let's read what the next thing they did. They shared their lives together. They ate and they prayed together. They really cooperated with each other, with everything. They just wanted to be around each other. You guys have a best friend that you just want to be around all the time? That's what the church is like. They were together. They, they, were, they were together constantly. And one of the things that was so important when they were together is to pray with each other. You know, every week in 252 Theater and at New Spring Church, we take time to pray for one another because it's powerful. God does amazing things, and, and he wants to hear us talk to him. And when we weren't able to meet on campus while we were shut down, that was the thing that I missed the most, was getting to pray with uh, all, of my, all of the other believers of Jesus and to pray with all the kids. And so when we get to pray, God hears that. And, and that is so cool that we get to do that together. Let's go on to the next thing. It says that everyone was amazed at what God was doing. They were amazed when the apostles performed many wonders and signs. You see, God had, had gifted these people with the Holy Spirit, and through that, they were able to do a really, really incredible good works, miracles that, uh, that God wanted to do. And so people were amazed. And what I love is that right now, when I look at our church and when I look at what God is doing, I'm still amazed. That's the word that I would use to describe it. I get to see kids who are going public with their faith through baptism. I get to see kids who are still experiencing a miracle right now. God is still doing miracles for people, and that is so amazing. And so uh, after that, let's go on. It says, all the believers were together. There's that word again, together. They shared everything they had. They sold property and other things they owned. They gave to anyone who needed something. You know, I think this is really inter interesting because they cared for each other. Not just in a, hey, I'll see you on Sunday kind of way, but in a way that said, hey, you need that? I'm going to help you do that. You need to get that? I'll sell the shirt off my back so you can have food on your table. That's what they would do. 
And you know what? We're learning how to do that too. Uh, over the past month, we've been working really hard together, cooperating to get to purchase a basketball court for a missionary. And Mr. Jimmy, uh, you know, he's doing an amazing thing in Guatemala and helping families there know who Jesus is and know that God loves them. And to start his school where they're telling people about Jesus, they needed a basketball court. And I watched you guys give up your points that you worked so hard to earn, whether by memorizing verses or coming on the weekend or even bringing friends so that you could help purchase that for them. And by doing that, you cooperated together to be a world changer. That's, ju- that's so much like what the early church did and how they worked together. Listen to this. It says, every day they met together. Every day. Isn't that interesting? It wasn't just Sunday. It wasn't just one day of the week. Every day they met together in the temple courtyard. They ate meals together in their homes, and their hearts were glad and sincere. They just loved being around each other. Isn't that so cool? And and we still have a chance to do that. You know, one of the things that we do if you're here in 2D2 Theater on the weekend is that we do small groups. And we don't just do small groups because they're fun and we like to do fun activities. We do small groups because this is our chance to participate in community just like this, to be around people that we just want to be around and to make great friends and to have a leader who loves you and cares about you. And so it's so cool that we can still do that purpose here today. Finally, Listen to this last verse that we'll read. Acts chapter 2, verse 47. They praised God. They were respected by all the people. Every day the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. This is huge because they worshiped God together. And you know, even at the start of this video, we, we had worship at the very beginning of it that you could stand up and sing along at home. But you know what? It's different when we're together. That's, one, that's another thing, that one of the things that I miss so much when our campus was closed and, and we were shut down for a while. And that's one of the things that I look forward to the most is getting to sing out to our awesome God together and to hear other people standing beside me uh, saying those same things. It's amazing. But God was doing an incredible work in them. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't just uh, that for that group. Uh, you see, more people were being brought into the church and more people were putting their trust in Jesus. Now, why are we talking about this? Well, when I read through these scriptures, the things that I see is that they were together, together, together. Everything they did was together. That was just their habit. They did these things every day together. And so when we're talking about cooperation, one of the big questions that we might ask is, when do I cooperate? It might be easy to just you know, cooperate every once in a while or, you know, do a group project together, you know, or I come to church on Sunday. But what if we really made it a habit? We really made it a habit to follow God's instructions for us. Our bottom line is make a habit of working together. And so here's the really cool thing is that right here in this day and this time, the world might be very different from what it was when God started the church. But our purpose is still the same. Could we do life without each other? Maybe, but it's not as good as it is together. It's not as good when we ha- as when we have everybody cooperating together and doing what the church is supposed to do. Let me take a minute and let's let me just pray for you and let's thank God for one for the awesome church that He started and how He's using it and uh, we can be thankful for for even New Spring and how God is working here and let's pray to ask God to help us uh, make a habit of working together. God, we love you with all of our hearts. Thank you for what you're doing through the church not just New Spring Church, but the church all across the world, that there's people in different countries who have to hide and uh, because they're afraid of, of being persecuted for, for their faith, but yet they're growing and you're working in them. I pray that you'll help us to be like the early believers. That church don't be just something that we go to or something that we, we take part in, but God, it'll be something that we contribute to, something that we cooperate with the people who are around us so we can live out the purpose that you have for us. And we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us today for 252 Theater Online. We hope you had a great time learning about the big idea. We'd love to get in touch with you. With your parents' help, you can visit our Facebook or Instagram page to message us any questions or prayer requests. 
If you would like a daily devotional that goes along with what you just heard, click the link in the description box below to download a God Time card that you can do at home. We have incredible fun like this every weekend, so make sure you click the subscribe button so you can see when our newest videos are posted. If you have younger or older brothers and sisters, we have amazing weekly content for their age group too. And of course, our doors are open every weekend for you to experience 252 Theater in person. Have a great week putting this big idea into practice, and we'll see you again next week.